All right, welcome in, ball hockey fans, to our next broadcast of women's action here on home team. I am the Spaz Man, your round mound of sound, and we just witnessed a really good matchup between the Edmonton and Ontario United with it ending in a one-to-one -one tie. The Edmonton United led most of the way and with just moments to go in the waning moments, Ontario scored in the final frame to make it one-to-one. -one. Wow, that's all I have to say to that. So they are both 1-0-1 one, oh, and one coming out of today. Now let's talk a little bit about this matchup here today. But before I do, I would just like to say that you are automatically registered to win one of 10 $50 gift cards from Pro Hockey Life. So if you purchased or purchase a live stream day or week pass to watch the CBHA Nationals, that's live, you are automatically entered to win one of 10 $50 gift cards. So spread the word. Thank you, Hockey Life, for that. Pro Hockey Life. That is, and for every week pass, every weekly pass subscription sold to watch the 2024 CBHA Nationals Championships, $1 is donated to Jumpstart. And Jumpstart is a national charity dedicated to helping kids from families in financial need participate in organized sports and physical activities. So... We would like to thank Pro Hockey Life and Jumpstart for their participation. So we've got a nice little battle brewing here between the new Tecumseh Extreme and the Calgary Toon Squad. Now the Toon Squad, they come into today 1-0, having beaten the Edmonton Havoc 3-1 yesterday on day one. Derek Helmsley. Hemsley, I should say, their head coach. The head coach is Kendall Glozier for the new Tecumseh Extreme who lost 3 to nothing to the Calgary Vipers. So scoring for the Toon Squad in that 3-1 to one win, Emily Berzins, she scored twice, and then uh, Virgilia Chicoin, she ended up scoring the other goal. Uh, Courtney Bayer, she got two apples, and Kelly Stafford, she got an apple as well. And if you're going, hey, Spazzy, what's an apple? It's just hockey speak for an assist. But something tells me you all know that. You all already know that. Once again, I'm the Spaz Man. You're round mound of sound coming at you live from the Edmonton Soccer Center South in downtown Edmonton. And we'll get back to it very shortly. This is CBHA Hockey, Ball Hockey, here on the home team. We'll be right back. All right, ball hockey fans, let's do this thing. The Calgary Toon Squad wearing purple, the new Tecumseh Extreme wearing the black and orange, and we are underway. Face off right in the center of the floor, sent down into the extreme end of the floor. So Calgary, the Toon Squad, trying to draw first blood right off the bat, off the face off, and can't. Now it ends up going down into their end. And looks like that will be a flooring. So we're going to bring that all the way back down here 
to the new tech side or new tech end and have a face off in the ring to the right of goal. A couple of nice big rosters at play here today. Face off out in front. Here comes New Tech. New Tech on the run out. They did have numbers. Nice job poking that away, though. Nice job poking that away, and we missed it because uh, can't, can't, we missed it. But New Tecumseh is going to jump out to a one to nothing lead. So New Tecumseh, the extreme, they draw first blood. Just barely a minute into this thing. And they lead one to nothing. Again, no idea who scored that goal, folks, but New Tecumseh takes a one to nothing lead. Again, coming into today. 0 oh and 1, losing three to so that's their first goal here in the Nationals tournament. After losing to the Calgary Vipers. Three to zero and last night. Here come the here come the squad down here in the extreme end of field twelve on the property of the Edmonton Soccer Center South. Here's a wrister turned away by the blocker of the New Tech goalie, and it's coming right back the other way. The Extreme looking to jump on and add to that one to nothing lead. Wholesale changes for both teams. And there you go, black numbers without uh, white piping as an outline. It's kind of always difficult to see numbers that are the same color, so dark numbers on a dark jersey, but that white piping makes it a little bit easier. And black on purple is always... Always a good thing. Purple and black, my former professional wrestling colors. And here comes the dump and run. The dump and run by Courtney Bayer. She's looking for her first goal of the tournament. Again, the first women's game ended up in a tie between Edmonton and Ontario. So I kept saying someone's always got to go and Someone's O did not go. Experiencing a little bit of uh, technical difficulty here. Face off in the ring. Production working very, very hard and diligently to Keep that signal up, and here we go. Back at mid-floor. Still have not gained the zone. Now they do. Number 44, Kelly Stafford. She has an apple from yesterday. She poked it down into the extreme zone of the, of the floor here on field number 12. Long wrister. Long shot. From outside the blue line over on the right-hand side. Right in the slot. And a little bit of stoppage in play here. An opportunity for everybody to get a little wholesale change going here. Looks like we're going to have the... I think, I, I don't know, was that a roughing call against the uh, Tecumseh Extreme? So we have our first power play 
opportunity here for uh, Calgary, the Toon Squad. See if they are able to tie this thing back up here with a two-minute penalty against Calgary. So nice save there. Ball will. We'll see the drop off to the right side of goal, and it was controlled by Calgary. Hard slapper, one-timer. Deflected, knocked down out in front. Man, that one-timer by Maya Irvine. She was looking for that. Wanted to tie things up. They are not afraid to shoot from the parking lot. A buck 20 left to go in the power play for Calgary. The whistle blows, and we'll see a stoppage in the action. So with New Tecumseh lead like. Now we'll get her straightened out here in a second and we'll let you know.
Cup, and both goalies right now playing solid. Solid. We saw... Yeah, so the power play is still in effect for the Toon Squad. I mean, there couldn't have been what two minutes if 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 that left in the in that game. And Ontario scoring to tie the tie the thing up at once, and that's the way it ended. So here we go, mid-board. I get a little physical out there, and you got to love it. Got to love the physicality. Hey, it is hockey. Ball up top with the Toon Squad. And I don't know if that's going to be a flooring or not. Nope, they had a player wide open, and you could see the bench. You could see the Toon Squad bench beating their sticks on the boards to try and draw attention to the fact that there was a player all by herself. There was an extreme player all by herself down on the end here. So great presence of mind by the bench to make players on the field. What are we at? Five look like, not sure. Nope, they do gain the zone over here on the near side. Bringing it across was Vanessa Wong. Oh, pocket pick, lost the footing. Going to send it along the boards over to the far side. It's going to be picked up at mid-board. Now brought up over here to the near boards. It was Carlene McNulty. Give her a shout-out. Wholesale change. Wholesale change here for... New Tecumseh, and we're back to five on five, and the uh, Toon Squad of Calgary 0 for 3 on power play opportunities. It's like 440 left to play. 440 left to play here in period number two. Back to even terms, even Steven, five on five. With New Tecumseh leading two to one. From the slot, the left-handed runner, no good. And now the Toon Squad trying to transition into offense, but sent back all the way down to the Calgary end, and that will be a flooring. So that will be flooring and will result in a face-off down here to the side of Kathleen Cuppin for New Tecumseh. New Tecumseh wearing black and Calgary wearing the purple. Face-off won by the Toon Squad. Right around the blue line. Dumping it down and in into the corner. Official working really hard to stay out of the way. Here's a left-hander from the high side right between the lines. And that was put down by Delaney Bryan once again. There's not a shot that she does not like. And here comes the extreme in transition. Ball deflected away, and now coming back the other way are the Toon Squad. And coming back the other way by the extreme. a handful of minutes left to play here in P2. 
Oh, a wide open runner on the side. They find her. She lets it go. And Vanessa Wong looking to get her first of the tournament. Man, she was wide open on the run out on the right alley. Oh, couldn't get the one-time slapper going. Nice little feed there by Jordana Hain, but unable to knock it down. Yeah, could have been could have been a little chippy there, but good job by both teams, but players from both teams to avoid that little chippy chippy out of play. And we will have a face-off on the dot directly in front of the Calgary Toon Squad bench. Down, loose, picked up by the extreme. Here they come on the run out. And left-handed runner, no good. Left-handed runner right off the faceoff by the extreme, no good, but they do hold the zone. And there you see McCrindle very active with that stick from the crease area. Now the ball behind gets kicked back up top. And the Toon Squad trying to break out into offense. Trailing two to one. Here comes the extreme. They bring it across the one-on-two situation. Boy, a lot of physicality. Both players, players from both teams going down. Referee was looking right at it, though. No call. Letting them play. And I like that. I like it when the officials let them play. There we go. Ball down here in the extreme end of the floor. Starting to creep up on short time. And here come the extreme in transition. Try to dump it up. Deflected. Gets kicked back to the red line, though. And the extreme kick it back down into the Toon Squad end of the floor. Loose ball right at the blue line off to our left. Oh, somebody getting up real slow for New Tecumseh. Somebody getting up real slow. I don't know if there was a, 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 a little bit of contact there, a little bit of uh, physicality away from the ball to facilitate that, but somebody for the extreme slow to get up. The extreme leading two to one, looking for their first win of the tournament, losing three to nothing yesterday to the Calgary Vipers. And we'll have a Vipers game, but it's the Victoria Vipers. And that'll be at five o'clock. It's a men's C game against the Sherwood Park Ball Hogs. No, just double checking to see if we might have a power play working, but I don't believe so. So ball out of play on the dot in front of the Toon Squad bench. Sent down and in, and you see... Kathleen Coppin covering that thing up, and that'll force a face-off to the left side of goal for New Tecumseh. Brian, right off the face-off, sends it down left-handed. Not a lot of zip, not a lot of juice behind it. Right at the GLE, off to the left-hand side of uh, Coppin. And here comes the extreme on the run out. Very long wrister by Marissa Esterbrooks. Esterbrooks between the rings with the right-handed runner. So 
So we will have a face-off to the right side of McCrindle. Working short time here. Down to about 13 seconds. Sent all the way down into the new Tecumseh end. And that was flooring, and it'll come right on back. So face off in the ring to the right of McCrindle. And that should, that should just about do it here for period number two. And it will. Time is going to run out here on period number two. With New Tecumseh, the extreme, leading the Toon Squad of Calgary 2-1. to one. You are watching CBHA Nationals Hockey right here on Home Team. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, ball hockey fans. Final frame here between Calgary and New Tecumseh with the extreme of New Tecumseh leading the Calgary Toon squad 2-1. to one. Now, if the first game, the drama established in the first game is any indication of what we might see here in the waning moments of this one, hold on to your seats, man. No lead is safe, for sure. So face off to the right of McCrindle. We switch ends. And now the Toon Squad of Calgary going from my right to left, our right to left, and the extreme of New Tecumseh, New Tech going left to right. Warm outside, even hotter on field number 12. A <coughs> lot of action going on down here for the Canada Ball Hockey Nationals. A ton of games on home team. Ton of games. Still not too late to order your weekly pass and help support help support the Things that we have going on here. Whoops. Ball coming back the other way into the new Tecumseh end. 
And for every weekly pass that is bought to watch the CBHA Nationals, one dollar, one dollar for every weekly pass that is ordered goes to Jumpstart. And Jumpstart is an organization that helps kids from <clears throat> families in financial need participate in organized sports and physical activities. So final frame, score two to one. Again, the game just before this one between Edmonton and Ontario. It was a ladies game, came right down to the final moments, final couple possessions. When Ontario hit the game-tying goal with, with mere moments to play. So Puck along the boards off of the faceoff in the ring to the left of Kathleen Coppin. Again, head coach Kendall Glozier for the extreme and Derek Hemsley for the Toon Squad. Coming at you from the Edmonton Soccer Center South. <clears throat> Indoor soccer. You can see the goals. You can see the goals that are up on the wall behind the ball hockey goals. Here come the extreme trying to transition. It's a two-on-two -two break. They don't have numbers. I'm gonna carry it all the way in on the left-hand side. And looks like uh, oh, I got a little chippy chip working here. I wonder if somebody's going to the sin bin for the extreme. Nope, not going to the sin bin. I think we had a goal there, folks. I think we had a new Tecumseh goal. We did. We had a new Tecumseh goal. And the extreme now lead 3-1. to one. So new Tecumseh jumps out to the 3-1 to one lead here early on in period number three. Field 12, action hot and heavy, man. The ladies going at it pretty good. But new Tecumseh with that two-goal buffer. And the way this game has been being played, I think a couple goals is a big deal. So we'll have a face-off in the ring to the left. Of Coppin. Kept in the end, then kicked out. Picked up by the Toon Squad. Face off on the dot just outside the blue line on the opposite side of the extreme bench. Three to one, New Tecumseh leading the Toon Squad of Calgary here in the CBHA Nationals. And looks like the ball will go out of play, and we will have a face-off. Oh, 
after some line changes. So some wholesale change here for the Toon Squad of Calgary. Face off in the ring to the right of Coppin. So back up through mid floor now over to the far side and the toon squad trying to set things up here trailing three to one i mean there's ample time ample time but they've got to make something happen here and close that two goal gap ball in the corner now behind goal Going to be chased down over there in the corner. Toon Squad with the cutter. Taken away, and here come the extreme. Coming back the other way. Cross. Crossing pass. Shot from near the blue line. So shot from near the blue line. And uh, McCrindle, once again with the save, forces the faceoff in the ring to her right. Official looking around to see if there were any substitutions working. None as such. We are back underway. Coming at you live from Edmonton Soccer Center South in the heart of Edmonton. Alberta, Canada. The CBHA Nationals. National in the house. So face off in the ring to the left of Kathleen Coppin. Slapper, one timer right off of the face off. And Coppin is going to pass the test on that one. And she'll cover that up and that'll bring the face off in the ring to her left. Left-hand turnaround by the Toon Squad. No good. Doing everything they can. To close that two-goal gap. Starting to feel a little bit of desperation here. We know that in this play, they do not go to overtime. As evidenced by the one-to-one -one tie between Ontario and Edmonton and the pr game prior to this one. And once again, got a nice early start at 10 o'clock in the morning. There you go. I think I see some bodies in that window now, right? Yeah, there's some bodies watching in those windows now. Oh, hard shot from way up by the red line. Way up by the red line. By uh, Kendall Glozier. So once again, McCrindle comes up big for 
the uh, Toon Squad, and that will force the faceoff in the ring to her left. Remember, we'll be back. I'll be back at 5 o'clock with men's sea action between the Victoria Vipers and the Sherwood Park Ball Hogs. And that's at 5 o'clock Mountain Time. Carry down the left hand side from the slot. Left hander misses its target. In the corner. Slot shot from the blue line gets knocked down. Another one gets knocked down. And that was uh, Maya Irvine. Maya Irvine for the Toon Squad. So new to come sets looking to win their first game of the tournament. Up top for the Toon Squad. Right hander sent down and in one more time by Irvine. Ball down here in the Toon Squad end of the floor. They gain the zone over on the far side. Near side, centering pass. Gets deflected away. What a great look and what a great pass from the left alley. Here's a backhand turnaround pass. That was a really nice look there by Kelly Stafford. And fresh off the bench, coming in hot. Yuan Yu. Yeah, yeah, chances are I got that one wrong, folks. Chances are I got that one wrong. Only a handful of minutes left to go here. Time's starting to run out on the Toon Squad. Remember, call your family, call your friends, call people you don't even like. Tell them to grab a weekly pass because a dollar will go to jumpstart. We want to thank Jumpstart and Pro Hockey Life. And remember, you get a pass. It doesn't matter if it's a day pass or a weekly pass. You get a pass. You are automatically registered to win one of 10 $50 gift certificates from Pro Hockey Life. So a little timeout, a little timeout action. I'm going to take a timeout with them. You're watching CBHA Nationals Women's Ball Hockey here on Home Team. We'll be right back. All right, ball hockey fans, welcome back in. Coming out of that T.O. face-off right in front of the extreme bench. Ball gets bumped down into the Toon Squad end. And unfortunately for the extreme, they have to deal with Christina McCrindle. So McCrindle once again coming up solid for Calgary. And that'll be the face off in the ring to her left opposite side extreme keeping it in there you saw McCrindle trying to reach out and grab that with her glove it goes into the corner here on the near side love to watch them try to knock that ball down and as I've said before you can reach up and grab it one time slapper one time slapper from the extreme high side. I believe that was Natasha Lang. 
but you can reach up and you can knock that ball down out of the air with your hand, but you can't redirect it. You can't deflect it left, right, you know, forward or backward. You got to kind of just reach up and knock it down at your feet. Ball looks like it goes out of play and it goes off of the Toon Squad. And we'll have a face off right there in the ring to the left of Christina McCrindle. Left-handed wrister, no problem. Starting to run low on time for the Toon Squad of Calgary. Yeah, I, I don't have too many strikes on me for calling the ball a puck here today. Ball brought across into the zone, so the extreme do gain the zone. And the more time that ball spends in the Calgary Toon squad end of the floor, the better it bodes for New Tecumseh because they've got that 3-1 to one lead. Here's the slapper goes off to the left-hand side. That slapper put down by Kendall Glozier, listed as the head coach. Right-handed wrister from the left-hand side, about 15, 20 feet away, ends up along mid-board here on the near side. Sent down and in off the stick by the left-handed Emily Niskanen. Starting to get real short on time, and you can just, it's palpable. You can start to feel the the pressure, the desperation on behalf of the Toon Squad of Calgary starting to kick in. And New Tecumseh, you can feel New Tech starting to match that energy as well. So that's so difficult for a team that's trailing and, and, and needs to get fired up. It's so difficult when their opponent who's leading matches that energy. Face off in the ring to the right of McCrindle. Ball comes back up to the neutral zone, all the way down to the new to comes at the new tech end. Ball on new tech, and it's going to go in. So Calgary, the Toon Squad, looking to close the gap here, waiting for the. Waiting for the confirmation. And it is three to two. N Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. No idea who that goal is credited to. But here we go. Here we go, folks. I told you. I alluded to it. I alluded to it at the beginning of the final frame that if this game is going to go anything like the first game, we've got some dramatic fireworks coming. And the squad making this a one-goal game. To make it 3-2 to two in the waning moments here. Remember that one-to-one -one tie was the result of a very, very late goal by Ontario in the first ladies game. And here comes... The Toon Squad, they are feeling it. They've got momentum. They've got a little bit of swag. And they're going to try to ride that swagger and tie this thing up here in the closing moments of this women's matchup. They do have the zone off on the left-hand side, way over here on this side. They hit the cutter coming in. And Ashley Holt, the cutter coming off the bench, a little out of control. Little out of control, and that's a turnover that might cause them a little bit of pain if the extreme are able to hold on to the ball. Boy, I'll tell you what, the Toon Squad, they were trying to ride that, that momentum that high off the score in that second goal. And Holt was just coming in 
like a, a freight train. And they tried to get it to her on the move, but she was just coming way too hard, way too strong to be able to handle that. So stoppage in play here. Short, very short time. Face off in the ring to the right of Christina McCrindle. Hard slapper. Hard slapper from the high side. And that was put down by uh, Emma Forster. Emma Forster trying to trying to make it a two-goal lead here again. But as time is waning in the closing moments, oh, a lot of contact. A little bit of a, looked like a little bit of a push from behind there by Caitlin McKnight, but no call. Let him play. Could you imagine that? Power play in the waning moments, last couple of minutes of a 3-2 to two game? You definitely don't want to be the official making that call. But here come the Toon Squad. Again, closing moments. Here in the final frame, period three. What a great game. And looks like we're going to have a timeout. And a penalty as well. So I called it. I called it. Here we go. Power play time. Power play time in the waning moments. And I do believe the Toon Squad called the timeout. Hey, I'm going to take a quick break. You're watching CBHA Women's Nationals Hockey here on Home Team. Wow, here we go, three to two. Can't tell, and it looks like we are short. Looks like down to about 55 seconds, I think I saw. Could be wrong. Let's see if the Toon Squad can tune up and tie this thing up here on the power play in the last handful of seconds. And they do hold the zone. Nice job by Delaney Bryan to keep the ball in. And is she going to do it one more time? Nope, going to come up. Here come the extreme. The extreme on the fast break coming back the other way. And I don't think they're as concerned about hitting a shorty as they are and just maintaining possession. And there you see the empty net for the Toon Squad. And we've got somebody down from the extreme. So we've got somebody down from the extreme over there in the corner. I'm going to step aside for a second. You are watching CBHA Women's Nationals Hockey here on the home team.
All right, folks, here we go. Waning moments. Final seconds. Face off to the left of McCrindle. It is vital that the Toon Squad get possession here. For the opportunity to make one rush at the goal. They send it all the way down and in. And this thing is going to come to an end. And New Tecumseh is going to improve to one and one. And Calgary, the Toon Squad, is going to fall to one and one. New Tecumseh, the Extreme, are going to pick up the three to two dub here over the Calgary Toon Squad. What a great game. What a couple great ladies games. I'll tell you what, the drama at the end of both of these games was off the chart, off the charts. So I'm going to be back at 5 o'clock for some men's C action between the Victoria Vipers and the Sherwood Park Ball Hogs. It's been my pleasure to be with you here this morning on Home Team. I am the Spaz Man, your round mound of sound. Thank you very, very much for tuning in to both of these ladies' games. First one saw Edmonton United and Ontario United run to a one-to-one -one tie. And then in the second game, New Tecumseh holds on to beat the Toon Squad of Calgary 3-2. to two. Hey, listen, I'll see you back here at 5 o'clock Mountain Time. I'm the Spaz Man reminding you, always do your best to be your best. Never let the pursuit of what you want interfere with appreciating what you already have. And remember, falling down isn't the problem. Staying down is. Get back up. Be good to one, be good to one another out there. I'm out of here. See you back at 5 o'clock right here on Home Team. See ya.